Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I still have to do the reviews this week for Time Bandits. Don't worry, they will come. It just took a little bit of time. I'm, you know, things got in the way. Real life, it is what it is. But last night while I was sleeping, a trailer dropped for the next Star Wars insert, I guess. Maybe. We'll see. Star Wars Skeleton Crew, the trailer dropped. So it will be coming out in December, but let's go ahead and check out that trailer if it is anything that might excite us. test but hold on we'll set the Wait, is, is that is this real life is this supposed to be real life are we bringing star wars to real life now oh crap the course of your entire future don't you ever want to do anything exciting like what what if we could go anywhere we want in the whole galaxy? Since when is Star Wars based on real life? Where in Star Wars do you get scenes with a freaking sidewalk, with cars, with... What is this? Holy crap! This looks so bad and it looks so freaking lazy! Wow! A real adventure. No more pretend. I found something buried in the woods. What do you think it is? I think it's a lost Jedi temple. A lost Jedi temple. Hello? Be careful where you stop. It's dangerous out here in space. Trust no one. You're a Jedi. So when is this supposed to take place? That's my number one question. When is it taking place? If it's close to anything that has happened in either of the movies or shows, Star Wars doesn't look like that. The universe of Star Wars is completely war-torn. It is called Star Wars, after all. So, no, you probably would not have a civilization that looks like real life. But perhaps that is what they're going for. This is, it does look like it is for kids. I guess they're finally making something that is for kids. Maybe. Hope they don't bring in Lizzo. Or Jack Black. Crying it loud. But this looks so far off from anything Star Wars. It looks like, it looks like your real life. You're a kid in real life. Like right now, in your bed, you go to school each day, you want adventure. And look, when I was a kid, I believed I was a Jedi. I would take an umbrella, it was green. I would swing it around and be like, yes, it's a lightsaber. Everything became a lightsaber or a blaster. Yes, I always wanted to be part of the Star Wars universe. So if it's if it's coming from that angle, I can sort of understand it. But then when it gets into the adventure part, 
doesn't look like Star Wars. It looks like some generic sci-fi. Look, I get it. I get it. And I know people are going to come in the comments and be like, it's for kids. It's not supposed to be for you. You don't understand it. Boomer, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Whatever. I get it from that angle, but it still looks like shit. Can't help it. Look, I will watch kids shows. I'm not beyond that. <laughs> I mean, I'm part of me is looking forward to store to Toy Story 5. Hoping, of course, that Tim Allen will be a part of it, and not Chris Evans. But it is Disney, so mm, mm, mm. weird, weird, weird. Anyway, this looks bad. Doesn't look exciting. I don't actually believe that there will be kids watching this unless their parents are like, oh, I'm a Disney show here. Watch this. I'm sorry, that's just the way it seems like. Now, I will probably be watching it, reviewing it, because that's what I do here on the channel. I like to torture myself. You know that? And if you don't know that yet, well, you will probably find out. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this trailer. I'm not excited. I think it looks like trash. Let me know down in the comments below if there are any shows that you want me to review because the Time Bandits is nearly over with. I mean, yeah, but I don't want to have to wait until December to review this. I have nothing until then, but maybe I will try to make more videos like this one. Watching trailers, talking about them. Let me know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Whatever floats your boat. And hey, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. And if you do that, hit the bell for notifications because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are actually interested in seeing these videos. All right, until next time, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.